I'm here with Dr. Bradley Bard of Hennepin County Medical Center in Minneapolis, the uh, principal investigator of the Caress Heart Failure Study, comparing ultrafiltration and acute decompensated heart failure with standard diuretic therapy. Uh, Dr. Bart, what did you find? Well, uh, we were very interested in this sick group of patients with uh, worsening renal function and persistent congestion. And a hypothesis was that ultrafiltration would lead to improved kidney function and improved uh, decongestion compared to uh, diuretic-based therapy. And what we found is that both treatments were very effective in removing fluid. Both groups removed the same amount of fluid, about 12 pounds. But when it came to the uh, kidney function, the ultrafiltration group had a slight increase in creatinine at the 96-hour endpoint. Uh, and the patients in the diuretic treated group had no change in creatinine. So uh, what are the clinical implications of that? Well, this was a small study, and it was primarily focused on changes in weight and changes in creatinine. We did look at 60-day outcomes in these patients, and the uh, outcomes were pretty bad for all patients. Forty percent of these patients were either rehospitalized or died um, in that 60-day interval. Um, and there was no difference between the ultrafiltration group and the standard diuretic group. So I think the take-home message here is that this is a very sick group of patients, very challenging to treat, their outcomes are poor, and we need to develop better treatments to address this condition. Anything on the horizon that looks good? Well, I still think that ultrafiltration plays an important role uh, in, in some patients. We need to define better what patients are most likely to benefit and work out uh, some details in terms of the dosing strategy, if you will, for ultrafiltration. How to dose it, how long to go, how do you know when you're done?